What's up everybody, you're listening to Obsidian Radio News I am your host, Mumia Obsidian Ali It is Thursday, July 13th, 2017 Welcome back We continue with our double header Our spinster bubble double header In the previous segment, you heard me read a story out of the New York Post Spinsters now scapegoating and blaming quote-unquote childless men for the reason why they are childless themselves that's right ladies and gentlemen the spinsters are blaming the men for why they're spinsters well in this segment the spinsters go one better in going the freeze-dried eggs route this story comes from many of you my dedicated and loyal listeners and audience I got quite a few pings in my email inbox over the past week or so. With this very interesting story coming out of the Daily Mail out of the London, UK. Headline. Leftover generation of career women are freezing their eggs because they can't find similarly successful men. Highly educated women are left over amid a generation of missing men. Women are freezing their eggs as an insurance policy to beat their inner clock. Last year, over 30,000 more women aged 18 were accepted for a university in the UK. Up until 2014, more than 3,600 women in Britain had opted to have their eggs frozen. Experts say women should consider partnering a man who is less educated this story is by victoria allen science correspondent for the daily mail and the story was published on independence day here in the united states uh july 4th 2017 career women have a long been thought to be putting motherhood on ice because they chose their job over a baby however most women who freeze their eggs are doing so not because of their career but because they cannot find a similarly successful man. The claim has been made following reports that women are a third more likely to attend university than men in the UK. These highly educated women who pay around 5,000 pounds for each egg freezing are described in a new study as the leftover women amid a generation of missing men. Their problem, according to U.S. and Israeli researchers, is that they are unable to find similarly clever, driven men because fewer males are entering higher education. Stop right there. Now, I I just got finished saying in a previous segment, and again, I'm going to reference what has now become an instant five mic classic podcast, I Will Not Yield. I've said that it's completely okay for women to whine, complain, and be crybabies over the fact that they find the selection of male mates wanting in the male marketplace in the mating marketplace uh, excuse me that's completely okay as this is yet another story coming out of the lamestream vagina vision media but if a blue collar brother like yours truly says you know the selection of mates available for brothers like me suck we're accused of whining, complaining, and being crybabies. Do you see the obvious, flagrant hypocrisy here, ladies and gentlemen? This in light of the empirical evidence. I'm not denying that there are fewer men in college compared to women. It's an empirical fact. I don't deny that fact. I'm not saying that what the ladies here are saying is wrong. It's true. There are more women going to college than men. That's a fact. But turn it around. If I say that the selection of black women available to blue collar brothers like yours truly is wanting. All of a sudden I'm personally attacked. Compare and contrast. Let's continue. Most women freeze their eggs because they cannot find a similarly successful man. IVF clinics peddle false hopes for egg freezing. Fertility clinics are giving desperate women false hope by exaggerating their success rates with frozen eggs. It was revealed earlier this year. Mail Online's undercover reporter was told the chance of the delayed motherhood technique working was as high as 65%. 
Yet official figures show that only around 15% of IVF cycles using frozen eggs are successful. I just got finished talking about this in the previous segment. One doctor said freezing 15 to 20 eggs was an insurance policy. Yet the fertility watchdog says just 1 in 50 frozen eggs leads to a baby. The watchdog, the Human Fertilization and Embryology Authority, launched an urgent investigation into the findings back in May. IVF pioneer Lord Winston said giving women false information was an outrage. Missing men and leftover women. Their findings from a study of 150 women have been backed up by British fertility clinics. The study's author, Marcia Inhorn, professor of anthropology at Yale University, said of women who freeze their eggs, quote, there are not enough graduates for them. In simple terms, this is about an oversupply of educated women, end of quote. In China, they call them leftover women. It sounds cold and callous, but in demographic terms, this is about missing men and leftover women. No, it's about fat, fuggly women. On the situation in Britain, Professor Gita Nargund, medical doctor of Create Fertility, said, It is something to celebrate that more women are going to university and getting educated. But at the same time, it comes to starting a family. It seems there is now a societal problem with these women finding men at the same level of education. Because again, it's completely okay for women to say, I find men wanting. Just not okay for brothers like me to say, I find black women wanting. See how that works? Oh, the fuckery, I tell you. Women tell us frequently that they are freezing their eggs because the men they meet feel threatened by their success and are so unwilling to commit to starting a family together. Because that's, you know, the other, you know, um, old chestnut talking point that men are so intimidated by a women's success. I'm, I'm going to be addressing this, too, because uh, back over here on the black hand side of things, that's something that a, a number of uh, the black Borg female hive mind have been saying. So I, I need to address that. So stay tuned. Let's continue. Place here. Uh, where was I? Oh, here we go. Uh, freezing eggs as an insurance policy. In Western countries, soaring numbers of women are freezing their eggs as an insurance policy to beat their biological clock. The latest study examined 150 men, 50 women rather, in the U.S. and Israel, more than 90% of whom said they are not intentionally postponing their fertility because of their education or, or career. Rather, rather. They were desperately preserving their fertility before their eggs ran low and they lost their chance to have a child because they were single without a man to marry. The author said female graduates who outnumbered male graduates and made up four-fifths of the study group were unable to find educated men willing to commit to family life. High, highly educated women are described as leftover amid a generation of missing men. Freeze your eggs at a young age if you plan to have children after 35. Women who think that they will be too busy to have children by 35 should freeze their eggs, one of the le world's leading fertility specialists said in October last year. Whether they simply have not found Mr. Right, their career is too important, or it is simply not a good time, egg freezing offers a chance to beat the biological clock a medical conference heard. Richard Paulson president-elect for the American Society for Reproductive Medicine said he advised his own daughters both in their early 30s so he basically got two daughters that are spinsters that if they do not have two or three children by the age of 35 they should consider egg freezing after that age the quality of the eggs takes a sudden downturn and getting pregnant becomes much harder let's repeat that shall we after that age the, the quality, quality of, of eggs, eggs takes a sudden downturn and getting pregnant becomes much harder bitches that's right ladies and gentlemen after the age of 35 a woman's value insofar as reproductive uh situation and fertility yeah it plummets are there notable exceptions to the rule of course and there will always be notable exceptions everybody knows about janet jackson granted but for the rank and file after 35 it's all downhill from there and, and with you know the speed of an olympic toboggan okay let's continue 
Dr. Polson made the remarks at the ASRM Congress in Salt Lake City, Utah, USA. Damn! Now you know MGTOW ain't no joke when it's hit Utah. See, pe- people think that this is a joke. People think that the MGTOW piece is a joke. It's not a joke, man. Men are, le- are voting with their feet in increasing numbers throughout the Western world. It's real. And of course, they will never examine why the men are doing it. Notice how these stories, as I read these stories, notice that they never talk to the men. Why do you think Obsidian Radio News exists? Because nobody was asking me. Obsidian, what do you think about that? You're you're a lifelong blue collar brother right out of high school. 22 years on a job with only one vacation on record. Union guy. Skilled trades guy. Lifelong confirmed bachelor. Why, why do you think this is going on? What's going on here? What, what, what could be the corrective to that? And I firmly believe that there's a reason why men haven't been answered, asked these questions, because a lot of the powers that be and read, they, they basically cater to women, won't like, like the answer. answer. So this is the reason why you never hear them being asked in these stories. Let me finish reading the rest of the story with the rest of the few minutes I got here. Let me get this over with. He was commenting on a survey that found women who had undergone egg freezing had lessened the biological clock pressure and made them feel less desperate during dating. More university educated women than men. Last year, 30,000 more women aged 18 were accepted for university in the UK than men in the same age, according to the UCAS. In that year, 56% of acceptances were for females. Up until 2014, more than 3,000 women in Britain had opted to have their eggs frozen, with experts saying it is now more popular than ever. University Admission Service UCAS said that while over 36% of women entered higher education in 2016, the figure for men was 27%, with more women than men on two-thirds of courses. The gender gap for higher education is now as large as that between rich and poor people which was described as a worrying inequity by former UCAS chief executive Mary Kernock Cook. That's an interesting name. Kernock Cook. Hmm. <laughs> Very British. The gender gap is also historian, excuse me, it's also historic and applies to women currently in their 30s. In other words, you know, all the spinsters. In 2000, 54% of university students were female they are now likely to be eight age 35 to 38 see told you spinsters in 2005 national statistics for the uk show 57 percent of students were female a group now age 30 to 33 so they're well on their way to spinsterhood what the experts say describing the phenomenon professor inhorn said this is an issue that has been misinterpreted so much this idea of a selfish career woman putting her fertility on hold She added, maybe women need to be prepared to be more open to the idea of a relationship with someone not as educated. Oh, how spinsterish of you. Listen, don't do me any favors, okay? Just just, just stay out there with your freeze-dried egg self. But also, we may need to start be doing something about our boys and young men to get them off to a better start. See what I'm talking about here? Go back to my other podcast. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Compare and contrast. Professor Simon Fischel, founder of Care Fertility, said anthropologically, we are always searching consciously or unconsciously for like minded people. So it is not a great leap to understand that women are looking for someone on the same level who is university educated or a professional. See, more fuckery. Uh, you know, what? I'm not even going to finish the rest of the article. You, you, you get the gist of the idea. I mean, it's, this is just yet another nail in the coffin as the MGTOW movement continues to gain a pace. And like I said, they won't ask the fellas what the real deal is because they won't like the answer so the band plays on you're listening to obsidian news i greatly and deeply appreciate you taking the time out to listen please make sure to like share subscribe to the channel don't forget to bang the bell there so that you can be up to date on all of the news for men by an everyday brother for everyday brothers thank you so much until next time peace I am out of here.